my mother and my grandmother kept me in church from infant on up. Um, they showed me who God was, and how he gives you strength to get through what's going on in your life. My 20s hit, and uh, I kind of stopped going to church for a little while. Um, but I came back to Christ to feel like the prodigal daughter. I, uh, I ran from, from God, even though I knew that he's what I need, who I need. He's everything I need. But he caught up with me. <laughs> and uh, here I am. And I'm so happy that I was brought up in church. Um, because I knew, I knew what I was doing was wrong, and I knew how to come back. I was born with tricuspid atresia, which means that I only had three chambers of a heart instead of four. My left a ventricle bottom ch chamber was not there. Um, so from day one, I was sick and had to have like small operations, like I had a shunt put in my heart. So it would um, it would work until I was old enough to do open heart surgery. And then at five years old, I had my first open heart surgery. Um, I did I, that did pretty well, um, but I got sick again in my teens. I went to Chicago to have a second open heart surgery <laughs> in 2001. So they whatever they did. Um, they um, they fixed me until last year, or two years ago, well, 2022, and then I started failing again. I was in diastolic heart failure and liver failure. Um, so I was coming to church and with my oxygen tank in hand <laughs> and going, you know, everywhere, and all of a sudden I start hearing words like death. Um, failure, um, transplant, heart and liver transplant. And I'm like, what? What? Okay. Okay. So I was in the hospital and I was dying. I knew I was, I knew I was going to die unless I got these organs. And I was, in a way, okay with that because I was going to be with my father. I was going to be with my savior. Um, but he didn't think that way. <laughs> and I love how God shows up because I've been in the hospital like two weeks. They're trying to help me breathe and I'm on 15 liters of oxygen. And I see you and I'm, I don't remember a lot of this. You know, because my O2 stat was so low. But I remember laying in that hospital bed and even the nurses were crying. I mean, it was just, I was dying, like I said. Um, and all of a sudden, May 23rd, doctor comes in, we have a viable heart and liver. Again, what? <laughs> I mean, like, Three weeks on the list. People wait years on this list. Um, but God was like, no, 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 no. We'll give this to you in three weeks. <laughs> so May 23rd, I had the surgery. I got a new heart and a new liver. I stayed in the hospital until July 5th. So that's about six weeks. And I healed. And praise God, here I am today. And I just want to tell my story. I just want to let everyone know how good God is. Because if he could do this for me, he'll do it for you. He loves you just as much as he loves me. I'm sorry. <laughs> God is just so good. That's all I know. I mean, he saved me for whatever reason. I had a double transplant. I have a new heart and a new liver. I made new, literally, figuratively, and every other way possible. God is so good. Um... Whatever he wants me to do, I will do. Either I'm going to be with Jesus or I'm going to stay on this earth for however much longer. Either way, I have no say in it, so I'm just going to praise your name. I'm just going to sing and praise, praise.
praise God. When I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. Lake Springs is my home and my family. I have an incredible family here at Lake Springs Church, and I love my family. 